Good morning. How are we? Uh, it's Monday. Hey. We're start of auction week again. Uh, and just like that. Um, we have been busy little bunnies. There's been lots going on actually here at IWA headquarters, but uh, I suppose we got to kick off this that week. Like a baddie movie, doesn't it? IWA headquarters. <laughs> uh, and today, um, <laughs> sorry, Fred, I think today I uh, have to start off with uh, Dreamcast. I mean, uh, every year when they come out, uh, so they release to make the announcement as what's coming out on uh, World Whiskey Day every year. Made a Force be with you, or may somebody or other. And the fourth. is it? No, no I don't think it's made a fourth. Made a fourth isn't made a fourth. That's, that's Star Wars. Today. I know. Me. Right, okay. uh, <laughs> I'm doing well to know what day this is. Never mind I what know, day that was. Sh- keep going. Um, there's always great fanfare around it. Always yeah. great fanfare, and the hype. I mean, it, it's done. The last couple of years have been done by ballot. So you enter your name in, and um, they've tried to tighten it up that you need a phone number because they send you a code to your phone number. But I'm sure there's lads out there who have ways and means of, gotcha. as 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 uh, as I do often see on social media, fellas, uh, sort of giving away fifty prepaid uh, phone numbers uh, because they're after not winning the ballot. <laughs> um, but when they come out, everybody's chasing them and everybody's looking after them, and it's a it, it is a strange one because not that long ago we had the ballot for the Jemson Fifteen. Yeah. And people sort of didn't seem that pushed on whether they got it or not. And even if they did get it, they were sort of going, here you go, uh, does anybody want this? I don't want it. Yeah. I didn't see anybody, strangely enough, saying, I won the ballot in the dream cask. I don't really want it. Do you want it? Oh, God, no. No, it's something, not something that happens. So this is the fifth released. But if I'm technical, it's actually the sixth release. But nobody talks about the, the, the per... Man of Love, beforehand, um, it was essentially uh, uh, the release for the Birdhouse, the first uh, release uh, for the Birdhouse, uh, again, limited number of bottles, and everybody loves to have them, some great drinking whiskey, I've drank uh, uh, a couple of them myself, yeah, they and they are a great drinking whiskey. This year, um, they brought out a 30-year-old double cask edition, um, again, to great fanfare, everybody was uh, on the hunt for it. Uh, as you can imagine, we've got a fair few of them into the auction. Yeah, we do. We are going to limit it. And again, people ask us, why we do that? Is that not... We have to try and be fair to everybody. Yeah. I mean, people are giving us their bottles in the expectation that we can get as high as price as possible for them. Yes. And then the buyers are coming to us with the expectation they'll get the bottles as cheap as possible. Yes. So we always have that to try and don't. find that balancing act between enough bottles that sort of meets the, the, the demand that's there and maintaining that that the, the, the buyers get a decent price for their bottles because ultimately without the sellers sorry without the sellers giving us their bottles it's irrelevant yes so that's we, we have a loyalty to them as well and, and, people, and we also have bottle number one for charities so. I'm, well I'm, I'm going to get to that one as yes. well um, but um, I, I, I think we'll just hand it to them. this month we have all of the dream casks, so every individual dream cask mm-hmm. that has been released every annual year. So we've got the 32 year old, the 20 year old, the 29 year old, and, and them all. So they're all there this year, including a couple of manual loves again. So you could build it, but we also have I think it's the first time it's ever been done the full dream cask set. As somebody, a set. As a somebody, somebody is selling the five bottles as a set. That's going to be really interesting to see where that goes because it, uh, for me, it's a it's a duty. It's a real bottle that you should have. Everybody should have in their collection because they're, they're in demand. They are a limited, genuine limited yeah, edition genuine release. Limited, yeah. uh, there's only between uh, 400 and 700 or 900, I think was one of the reasons, but 700 in and around there. So for the worldwide demand for red breast, and it is growing at a rate of knots, we see the big push into America and that they're the bottles that everybody's going to want to have. So I think it's a it's a great set to have. So if you haven't already got, or if you're missing one or two out of the Dreamcast, we do have a couple of the, the red breast 32s in this month's auction. Again, they do really well when they come up, and particularly around this time of the year, when people have perhaps won the latest one and have one and two of the other ones, and are now looking to yeah, go, yeah, I, I, I want saying, to yeah. build a full yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. So it is uh, interesting to see how this is all going to pan out. Um, as I say, there is quite a, f- not a, quite a few, there is a few of the 
the new the thirty year old editions there in this year this month. Um, I still have I'm still up in the air about the total number. What we do have is we have bottle number one, um, and again, uh, um, the team at Middleton have given us this bottle for charity. So that's bottle number one. Um, we are raising for Birdwatch Ireland for this one, same as we done last year. Yeah. Uh, it is just phenomenal. It is. We're blessed that we we that Middleton are doing this. I mean, it shows great generosity on their behalf. To they could keep that, they could put that away in their mm. own things. But I mean, if fair use them for for putting it out there. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be chasing that one. I know a couple of people who are definitely interested yeah. in that. So. It'll be a good one to have. Um, It'll be a but fun option to watch. That, that is bottle number one, so that's great. Um, as I say, we wouldn't normally put so many of these in, but at bottle number one, we know there's going to be great demand, and we still will have demand for the other bottles. Of course. Not everybody can go after bottle number one yeah. and, and pay the price or the premium that's going to be attached to it. So it, it is nice to have the other bottles in there as well. So that's it. As I say, I thought it was good to, to brush over. I think it really has become the collection for um redbreast yes i mean redbreast within the 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 redbreast family you have a couple of nice little collections and again i'm i'm not a guy i don't advocate to people all the time you've got to make a collection because no i think the the a lot of these bottles will stand up on their own right and again the these two have been doing really well recently have been getting good prices in and around the the late hundreds, thousand euro mark, and um, they've done particularly well. So again, is this auction going to be any different? Because, as I say, people might have the new dream cask and are looking to backfill as well. But you've got um, the single cask um, expressions from Redbreast as well. I think we nearly have a full set in this auction as well. Possibly. Uh, I think there's currently, I think doing our wee bit of homework, I think there's 24 individual releases of the single cask, the purple yeah, square yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think there's a collection of 22 for sale in this auction, um, which is a biggie. Yes. Um, again, guys are looking to, to fill gaps in their collections. It makes sense, and I, I've constantly advocated that, is it nearly makes sense to buy a collection, and then, cherry pick what you want out yes. of it, the best set that you have to fill in your gaps, and then sell off the balance or yeah. try, try for a set number two, but sell off the balance and you'll actually come out uh, probably just as good um, there is some of the American red breasts so they've really sort of started building the, the, the red breast family now yeah. and it's a huge thing I've seen a new one out in America the Kentucky Barrel Oak or Kentucky one I didn't see what the name of it was but it was a, a blue box remember similar to the small batch oh yes I've seen photos that of that as well that is cracking whiskey we do like that as well yeah, yeah, yeah. so as I say, I think Redbreast, and there's talk of them not doing quite as many releases with customer releases of the single casks. There's probably murmurings of is the dream cask near an end because I was just of the one, demand. I was just wondering how long the dream cask was going to go for. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I mean, again, it's, uh, we know that there's a massive demand on Redbreast at the minute. I mean, uh, age statement Redbreast at the minute are really, really in short supply in retail and especially in America, and I'm talking to the guys in America, they can't walk into the shop and buy a, a 15 or a 21. Yeah, yeah. And they're getting really, really thin on the ground. So how many more dream casts or big age statement uh, red brass pot stills are down in Middleton? There should be a few. But again, do they want to continue Only with Middleton, that? No. Only Middleton, no. Only Middleton, no. They'll never say. No. All sworn to secrecy. I'd love to know the, the contract that the lads sign in there and what's the penalty if they breach it. Sign it blood and blood or something like that, exactly. Yeah. Only joking. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they probably have to do and for fear of death or being deported to no, I'd somewhere. No, no. In the middle of the Indian Ocean, <laughs> in the middle of an IDL on an island and that's where all the people who've squealed who, on them. Who broke the yeah, contract. Yeah, who broke the contract. That's where they end up. And they're walking around there going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's it. We will be back tomorrow. Um, as I say, kicking off, we do have bottom number one of the Red Breast Dreamcast this year's release for charity. Um, and then we have literally every other uh, annual release, including the Man of a Love, which again, I just like to focus on as well to, to people and sort of get them in there because it is a drink, great drink of whiskey as well. All right. That's us, guys. A uh, bit warm today. I'm wearing shorts, oh, showing geez. off my legs. Look, that's... <laughs>
Don't be scarred for life. Look at them, look. They're like tree trunks on a bendy table. Or as my father used to say, I've seen better legs hanging out of a nest. Just, if you see legs of that hanging out of a nest, I'd run away. It's a pterodactyl or something. <laughs> right, go on, talk to you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>